Hi, I'm Mark Friedman. I'm a project manager with Red Sky Solutions. And uh, one of the questions I get asked a lot is, uh, what's the difference between a trigger and workflow? And uh, the best way to, to describe that is workflow works on one object at a time. So, for instance, uh, I have a client that whenever we have an opportunity that reaches a certain stage, we go ahead and fire off a workflow task. Um, another one uh, has a um, lead status. If that changes, we fire off an email. So, uh, it has to be on the same object that you're um, b working with. So, the workflow will, in fact, do uh, a create a task, it will send an email, update a uh, field on that object, um, and it will also send an, uh, an outbound message. But the, the difference between that and a trigger, a trigger actually causes uh, an action on one object to be able to go and do something like update a field on another object. And, and a really good example, uh, I have uh, a lot of clients who uh, put a uh, field on an account record called account class and that's uh, indicating whether they're a customer or they're a prospect and what we do is we create a trigger so that if an opportunity is created from a prospect uh, account and contact and the opportunity goes into a closed one status we have the trigger update the account class from prospect to customer uh, another really good example is a uh, client who is in a call center environment and um, they are um, using uh, tasks to record whether or not a um, person answered the phone. So if we go ahead and change a field called call disposition on the task record, um, the, for the very first time we move the lead status from new to working. We also put a um, we update a field on the lead record uh, called uh, call trigger and from that call trigger field when that is updated we then use that field to trigger workflow so it goes something like this uh, task is made uh, it is a no answer uh, we record that we save that task on the um, lead record depending if it's the first one or not we will update the lead status from new to working and uh, the call trigger is used to then send an email to that lead. And depending on what uh, number of uh, no answers it is, we'll, we'll either fire off a sorry we missed you or uh, here's a, an additional uh, thing to, to look at. So we're able to use the trigger to update a field on the lead and then use workflow to go ahead and trigger another action on the lead record.